Hello, Leo. Welcome to your energy reading. And this is for the 17th of October week. I hope you're doing well. And this is the general reading, so take it as it resonates. So we're going to start by picking three cards and then go on from there. Okay? So here we go. The first card, we have Guardian of Crystals. The second card here, Empress New Clothes. And the third one, we have Mother Goose. Right. So this week, Leo, you are looking at your physical life, right? Life on Earth. Uh, with a slightly different lens, you are adapting, you're making changes, perhaps with some habits that you have that you are uh, maybe working through or you've been struggling a little bit and now you are trying to get it in order. This week is fantastic for that to get things in order in your physical reality, right? But, you know, I feel your energy reading for this week is really quite good because we also have the Mother Goose. Mother Goose is uh, abundance, is gift. It is being wise in what you choose to put your energy in. And so I feel that if you make the effort, right, to make the changes to create or cultivate uh, better habits for yourself, you will, you know, you will get the results. So all seems very good. Um, this card is Empress New Clothes. This is more about looking inward for personal development. And are you seeing things through the lens of reality? Are you rooted in reality or are you buying into the fantasy or are you buying into um, the brainwashing that's going on in the world right now? Or are you going, you know, whatever it is, you know, what kind of lens are you looking um, through in your perspective? Is it clear? Is it rooted in reality? Okay, so some changes in your perspective this week as well. I would say all in all, uh, quite good energies for you this week, but let's pick some clarifiers. I feel your physical life, right? Uh, in terms of your habits and all of that, that's changing. Um, it's like you're picking up new habits, you're dropping you know, those that no longer serve you and these new habits you're cultivating will serve you in the long term, all right? So maybe uh, eating better, exercise daily, that sort of thing. And you do have it will be able to sustain you, right? So it's there for the long haul, right? As long as you keep up with it. I feel that many of you are going through uh, changes and you are adopting many good things, many good, um, you can call them rituals or habits to lead, to live a better life, okay? So let's see. Next three cards here, we have transformation, right? So it's transformational week. Um, leaving the old habits and welcoming new habits into your life. And uh, we have movement into balance, okay? So really a confirmation or clarifying exactly what we said earlier on. And we have the third card here that says retreat. So time to take stock of where you are. And, you know, fantastic time to... Look at your reality. What is it that you need to let go? Um, you know, letting go of all habits that don't serve you also includes things like the way you operate, you know, like how your mind is thinking or your mind gravitates towards certain uh, kind of thinking or thought forms and how to create better way of thinking, right? So it is on all levels. It's not just, uh, it seems to be pointing, right, towards personal development, your physical health, your physical reality, uh, emotional wellness as well okay so let's see we want some clarity from this deck let's pick three so Leo if you are looking for more clarity about decision making this week and you like a personalized session you can always book a private session details are below this video all right so here we have communication is key yeah, make sure you communicate your needs. Make sure that you communicate calmly and not in a non-combative way so that people uh, really understand where you're coming from. So balance spirituality and practicality. So you, if you are spiritual in your mindset, you know about certain plans that you have, make sure that they're rooted in practicality or else it's not going to work. And then we have have faith in your dreams. 
right? Good week also to list down all the things in which you want to manifest, you know, making your dreams come true, that sort of thing. Long-term goals, right? That would be, uh, yeah, this week is good week for it. Now let's pick one from Soul Truth and see what we get for your soul action. Action to take this week, Leo. And here we go. We have, how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace this in this very moment? How to be more kind to yourself. So important, right? Self-love, self-kindness, all these are important. We don't have these then we're not going to go very far because then we're not cheering ourselves along the way so look at yourself with a grace filter you are meant to be in this moment of your life release the inner critic and fill in the hole with your soul's truth and you are infinite and you're loved and you are already there very nice cut okay i hope it inspires you but let's pick one inspirational one from this fairy deck I feel like also a lot of abundance and opportunities pouring up for you, especially when we look at the Mother Goose card. If you're able to overcome the uh, the blinkers, right, that are preventing you from seeing things clearly, or if you can overcome the fantasy, overcome uh, moving through all the uh, the filters, right, and seeing reality as it is, you know, you can really open yourself up to greater abundance. Okay, so let's see. What we have from this deck and ask for help ask for help you know for almost all the signs this week is a week of personal transformation and development everyone is asked to go within right i have to do a collective reading right so let's see uh, what it says here angels and celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance ask for help Right, the universe is always listening. Ask for help. Okay, that's a baby outside my window. <laughs> Not my baby, my neighbor's baby. If you can hear the, the baby um, trying to communicate. Right, so I wish you a wonderful week, Leo, and I will see you again. All right, enjoy your week.